All right, so we're uh, we're going to take a brand new hard drive and format it so it can work with the USB loader for the Wii games, which uh, also compresses the games to their original size. So step one, we're going to download and install WBFS Manager 3.0, which uh, I've provided a link to the download site, and uh, the site just looks like this. Just get the right download. So. Once we're done with that, we're going to make sure that we back up any data on the hard drive before we format it. That's just a, a no-brainer. So next we're going to plug in the hard drive, turn it on, and just waiting for it. And here we are, new hard drive. Take note of the, the drive letter. This is the F drive. So just make a note right here, F drive. So now that we know that it's drive F and we got everything cleared off of it, then we're going to open the WBFS manager and select the, the hard drive letter, F drive. So here it is. If your drive letter doesn't show up at first, just hit refresh drive list and it'll come up. So we're going to hit F drive and then format. Yes. Voila. Now if it doesn't, if it says it can't do it, uh, close the manager and turn off your hard drive or unplug it and plug it back in and then reboot, you know, turn this program back on. And it should work. So now it's done. Load. There we go. Now we're ready to copy a game onto the hard drive. Okay, so next we're going to do adding a game to your hard drive that's already formatted. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and close this and shut off the hard drive. So now I'm turning it back on. And now that it's got the uh, the format, the Wii WBFS format, Windows is going to recognize it as a hard drive and ask if it wants to format it. Do not format it. Hit cancel every time. Now we'll still be able to see the hard drives here and we can tell that that's the hard drive that we're using and it's F. Make sure you remember what letter it is. So now we're going to run the WBFS manager like we did earlier. Uh, load F. It's empty now because we haven't put anything on it. So next we're going to drag the image of the Wii game onto the right hand box. This side uh, in the games to add column. And uh, I have the Super Mario Brothers Wii ISO image here on my desktop already. Drag. Here it is. And click add to drive. We're going to let that go. And finished. So now it shows up here, picture and all. And this is ready to plug in, and as long as you have the proper settings on the Wii, it should play. Now if we want to go the other way, and we want to take an image off the drive, uh, if in case you wanted to burn it on a DVD, or I don't know, whatever, whatever you'd want to do with it, uh, you're going to right-click on the file, and select Extract ISO, and dump it wherever you want. Uh, I'm not going to because I already have it on there. So that's that. And, and the final thing I wanted to show you is you can right click and export list the file. All you know, if you have 200 games, you want to know what it is, what uh, wh what size they take, and all the games that you have. So that extracted it as a CSV. We can open it here. And uh, there's this fantastic title, disk ID, region, and size. Really helpful to have. So that should do it. Thanks a lot.